Kata. This is Mark reporting for Kia Kids News. For the first time ever, New Zealand is celebrating the Solomon Islands pigeon language. And no, it's not the bird pigeon, it's a real life language system. In the Solomon Islands, there are more than 70 indigenous languages and dialects. So in the 19th century, Melanesians from all over our sides combine English, German, French and Portuguese in order to communicate with each other. Today, there are three main types of Solomon Islands pigeon. I'm here at the Orkin Museum to see how the language and culture of the Solomon Islands is being celebrated. Can you speak any Solomon Islands pigeon? Yes, but I'm still learning how to speak more pigeon so I can get fluent with it and like communicate with my family more with Pigeon. Are you a Solomon Islander? Uh, yes, my dad has uh, a blood from the Solomon Islands, but also Fiji as well. I'm here to watch my sister and the rest of the Solomon people uh, do their performance and cheer them on. They will perform is from Malaita Problems. <laughs> Life. How are you feeling about performing today? I feel very nervous about performing in front of people. What does the dance and performance mean to you? Oh, it means to me that they are telling stories through the way that they move their bodies and their actions. What does being from Solomon Islands mean to you? Uh, being from the Solomon Islands means I get to represent my culture, my family, especially my family back home, also my ancestors, and basically just to be part of my heritage. Just being here today means that I get to show it off. Can you speak any Solomon Islands pigeon? A uh, little bit, a little bit. What's your favourite thing to say? Um, <laughs> Oh, I think my favorite thing to say is probably like motu, which is like a, um, it's kind of like a hangi. What's your favorite thing to say in Solomon Islands Pigeon? Probably me no sabe, because I use that a lot. Like, that's my like, first phrase I've ever like learned. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Can you speak any pigeon? Uh, only a little bit. What's your favorite thing to say in pigeon? Uh, too much means too much. How did it feel performing in front of everyone? Uh, felt really good. It felt really good. Um, you know, showing off the culture. It is so cool to see the Solomon Islands being spotlighted for the first time. Look at me behind. This is Mark, reporting for Kia Kids News. Thanks to New Zealand on air.